Hello and welcome to Fiddlebaum's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called NAT and PAT. NAT is short for Network Address Translation. It is the system where routers can change outgoing packet headers from an old IP address to a new IP address and keep track of them via the internal table that it builds. When packets come back from the internet, NAT uses the tables to perform a reverse conversion to the IP address of the client machine. In static NAT, there is a manual assignment of public IP addresses to each internal machine, and that assignment is used all the time. Dynamic NAT uses public addresses and assigns them on a first-come, first-served basis. Both static and dynamic NAT requires that enough public IP addresses are available to satisfy the total number of simultaneous sessions. PAT is short for Port Address Translation. PAT is a variation of NAT in that NAT only uses the IP address of the client machine to form a unique public IP address, but PAT uses both the IP address and its port number to make a unique address. PAT ensures that a different TCP IP port number is used for each client session with the server on the internet. When the response comes back from the server, the source port, which becomes the destination port on the return trip, determines which user to route the packets to. The IP, NAT inside and outside command are used to define physical interfaces as being part of the inside or outside NAT area. The access list command is used to define the networks that will be the client of the NAT configured router. The IP NAT pool command defines the range of public IP addresses that will be available to the NAT client. The NAT inside source list command is used to configure the NAT translation by combining the access list with the pool of available IP addresses. The overload command upgrades the router to PAT translation. The show IP NAT translation command displays the NAT table and is very useful in troubleshooting problems. Here we are on the philiparaybrown.net domain and we want to send a packet to a server on the internet. The router has been configured as PAT. The computer has an IP address of 10.1.1 dot 100 with a port number of 1234. Since the server is on the internet, it has no idea of how to send packets back to the computer. The router will place its own public IP address and a port number in the source address of the packet. The router will also map the computer address to the public IP address and put it in its translation table. The server receives the packet and sends a reply packet. Since the first packet source address was the router's public IP address, the server sends the reply packet to the router. The router sees the source and destination address of the packet and looks in its translation table to figure out which computer to send the packet. The computer receives the packet without the internet server knowing the computer's IP address. In this video, we looked at NAT and demonstrated how PAC can be used 
to provide a large number of clients access to a small number of public IP addresses. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.